Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another complete Auto World series. And this time we have Auto World 2019 Release 4. And it is the series that is the debut, or debuts the 2018 Ford F-150, which is this awesome casting from Auto World right here. So we're going to show you the complete series. We're going to talk about it a little bit, including all of the Ultra Red Chase cars. And um, starting with this one. So we got set A right here. This is in lightning blue. Uh, these were limited to 8,500 pieces. They were sold in straight packs as well as in with the regular six car series. So uh, hobby dealers were able to order um, just a straight pack of just this car. Uh, it does have a opening hood feature, which is nice. It's got some detail in there, though it's pretty hard to see it because it's all pretty much black. And then it has an opening tailgate as well. Pretty sweet casting. And it's very, very heavy. This thing is massively heavy. Um, just a really cool car, really cool truck from Auto World. The only gripe that most collectors would have is the fact that it is a painted uh, headlight without much detail, um, which is my only gripe with this casting. Other than that, it looks pretty good. The taillights are acceptable like that with painted, uh, painted detail, not lens detail, but the headlights, I think they could have done a little bit more uh, with the graphic maybe on the headlight. But still a very awesome casting a very realistic looking truck and it just looks really good it's really heavy and is really high quality uh, so that is version a version b is this one right here and this is in a magnetic gunmetal black gunmetal black well it's really like gray like a charcoal gray same features of course as the blue one except it's in this color I actually kind of like it in this color a little bit better. If I were to buy the car or the truck in real life, this is the color I think I would pick it up in. So again, this one's limited to 8,500 pieces. It's pretty nice. Looks pretty good. I like it. And then next up, we got the Ultra Red. And here is the Ultra Red vehicle. Um, so the Ultra Reds in this series... Uh, technically, they follow the traits of the version B car with the addition of, of course, ultra red paint, ultra red interior, and white base. And that's for this series. That's not for every Auto World series. That is for this series. That's what happens. Um, I guess we should probably look real quick because I like to look at the plates on these. Sometimes they differ the plates between the A and B releases. So Boss Man is what you get there. And yep, it's a different plate for the version A car. This is F-150. So check that out. So that's how you know for sure. Uh, this one's a version B trait vehicle. Pretty awesome. All right. So, yeah, Ultra Red, it's 3% of the total production. So 8,500 times 2 uh, times 0 .03, and you get about 510. So there's about 510 of these out there. So still pretty darn limited when it comes to a chase model to be limited to 500 or less. Uh, also nice touch that's a lot more noticeable, I think, on this red one is they got the kind of the silver painted on the back side of the side mirrors, which looks good. It looks pretty awesome. So definitely digging that. Yeah, of course, it's an ultra red. And then next up is obviously, or what I think is obviously the most popular choices uh, for people. Uh, when picking up cars from this set, and this is the 1975 Chevy Silverados. Um, and these are also limited to 8,500 pieces. We're also available in just a straight pack to hobby dealers. They could get just packs of just the Chevys. Um, so that means the chases are limited to 510, and the regular releases are limited to uh, 8,500 per version A, per version B, etc. Uh, so this one's pretty nice. This casting, of course, features an opening hood. Go ahead and open it. This particular an opening tailgate. Uh, this one is crimson red with white. It's a pretty decent looking stock truck. Looks pretty nice. Eh, a little messed up wheel there with the Chevy logo a little off. Still pretty awesome. 
And then uh, the one that's really awesome looking is this one here. This is probably the best car in the series. And here it is in black. I love the wheels and tires on this one. And this gloss black. It has the same opening features, all that good stuff. And this one just looks fantastic. So this is definitely a, uh, a favorite. This one has a gray interior. The other one we just looked at had a white, uh, a red interior. And then, of course, the Ultra Red. So the Ultra Red follows the traits of the version B car. So it's going to be the traits of this black one, which means it's got the wheels from the black one. And it's going to have the plate from the black one, 75 Chevy. And actually, it looks like the plates on these are the same so you got those are all the same so sometimes they vary the plates between the version a and version b and sometimes they don't uh, this one i guess you can really differentiate it you know it's it comes from the version b traits from the wheels um and the graphic of course on the side so that's a really cool one right there Awesome ultra red, and again, white base, ultra red interior, ultra red body, and limited to 510. So there's 510 of these uh, ultra red trucks out there. So you can see a little bit of the chrome in the wheel there. Let's we'll fix that at a later time. Uh, but yeah, very very cool. Uh, let's see here. What's next? Let's do the. Uh, I got some of these. We're gonna have to open up, and that's gonna be towards the end of the video. I got some cars to open. I haven't even opened yet. So let's do this one. The 65 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. Um, so these, since they weren't available in the rest of the series, since it wasn't available in straight packs, uh, each version is limited to 5,500 pieces, making the chase cars limited to 330. Uh, this version A car, gloss black with gold stripes, I think to me is the better of the two that we're going to look at here. It's got the blue line wheels. And retires, which look awesome. It's got a gold interior, which is kind of interesting. This is kind of a cool casting. Uh, it's not really any, one of my favorites from Auto World. It's unique, though, in that uh, no other um, die cast company, I believe, does this car in 164. So there's your opening hood. Some detail down there. It looks pretty good. I, I dig it in black. Uh, Formula S, you can see down there on the, on the plate. Um, then the other one is white with gold stripe, and it has 65 CUDA uh, for the plate, right? This one has the uh, white lined tires as well. It is you know, it doesn't have the blue line, it has the white line. It still has the gold stripe, still has the gold interior. It looks very, very similar, except for some slight differences there. It looks pretty good. So what do you think the Ultra Red's going to look like? Well, first of all, the Ultra Red's limited to 330 pieces. We know it falls under the traits of the version B car. So we should see it with this wheel and this plate. And we do, of course. And here it is. So there's the wheel. There's the plate, 65 CUDA. And there's the Ultra Red. So it has an Ultra Red interior and a white base. Pretty nice looking ultra red. I like the red and gold together. It looks pretty good. It's a striking combo. Not a huge 49ers fan, but still, red and gold looks uh, looks really good. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, the next one let's do is the this one. This one's pretty interesting. So this is the Oldsmobile F85. Um, it is an altered tooling from the uh, old 442. So it's kind of like a brand new tooling, but it's not really. Um, this one has an opening hood, of course, as well. Which Auto World does pretty much the best opening hoods in the business, as far as I'm concerned. Love this car in this uh, Sierra Mist Poly with a gloss white top. Love the wheels on this car, the rims or hubcaps or whatever. They look really awesome. Look really good. 
F85 you can see there on the plate. Of course, nice details you would expect from Auto World. Very heavy casting, all metal, of course. And just a very nice model. Um, version B is the one in the series. That, and I swear Auto World does this on purpose. They are going to throw in one car that is going to confuse the heck out of people. Um, and this is that one. This is the one from that, this series. Because people will constantly post this up asking if this is an ultra red it is not it is actually the color is called target red which is interesting um, and it has a gloss white top um, it's got different hubcaps different wheels uh, and they're red like the car and it, yeah I mean at first glance I could see how people would confuse this for an ultra red for sure I mean, look at it. People double take it all the time, which kind of kind of makes me giggle. I'm glad that they do that. Honestly, I'm. Yeah. It's kind of fun seeing people post them up. Is this an ultra red? Is this an ultra red? And sometimes in pictures, it's even harder to tell than it would be in person. So it's a tough one, because here's the ultra red. And hopefully you can tell on camera, but obviously this is the darker. Um, well, I don't know if it's really darker, but it's a more of a metallic red, I guess. The ultra red color. Um, this has an ultra red interior as well, and this one has a red interior. But the dead giveaway, if you're really not sure, is the white base. Also, the fact that you could also find this car on the version A card, so the picture on the card would show this car, and then you'd see the red one in there. That's another way you're going to know. Yeah, that's a chase car. If the car's red and it doesn't match the color of the car that's on the card art, it's probably an ultra red, at least for any of the Auto World Premium series. That gets confusing for people too, though, because sometimes they question the Deluxe series because the Deluxe series didn't have uh, unique cards where it had a picture of each car on the card art. So that confuses people too, but... I think it's kind of fun that their chase program uh, can can confuse people sometimes. It makes me feel more like an expert. Uh, so, whatever. It's pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah. So, this one, ultra red body, ultra red interior, white base. And, uh, of course, it's going to share the, the license plate, uh, which is just F85. So, the plate's the same on all three of the cars. They didn't vary it. And they probably didn't vary it because the difference between the, the version A and the version B are enough to differentiate what version this is. So, anyway, that's an interesting one. Uh, always interesting that they did that. That they, they always throw something in there to confuse people. And they did it on the next series after this, too, with the Ford truck. They released a Ford truck that is just darn near this exact color, ultra red. Uh, but you're going to have to look out because I believe that one will have an ultra red base. I don't have it yet in a white interior. So they kind of switcheroo these. So I think those have white interiors and red bases. And that would be in 2020 release one. All right. Next. <clears throat> Let's take a peek at the Dodge Dart Swinger. we got to open all these up. So I'm not going to waste too much time here. Light blue poly on this one. Limited to 5,500. Here are the premium facts if you want to read that. Uh, I should also say this is the first series where Auto World ditched the cardboard boxes. Very disappointing for me. But I get why they did it because <clears throat> with the larger castings, such as the Ford F-150, they would have had to modify the box to get them to fit anyway. So, you know, whatever. It's time for new packaging. But I do miss the boxes. It's just a kind of a safety net for how to store these cars uh, should I ever need to move them. But here's your Dodge Dart Swinger in version A. Uh, I like this casting. It's been released quite a, a bit, um, a lot of times here. Hood doesn't really want to open on this one. We'll check it out though. There it is. Dig the color on this one. 
uh, it's just said they were the best in the business with opening hoods, and this one's having some issue, which I can probably play with and fix in a little bit, but we won't do it on camera. Blue sky is what you get on the plate of the version A car. And this one's all right, but the version B, I think, is much cooler. Um, <clears throat> mainly on account of the wheels. I think this vehicle looks great with these wheels. So Dodge Dart D GT, dark bronze poly. Again, limited to 5,500 pieces. So when we get to the Ultra Red, limited to 330. And here it is in dark bronze poly. So, <clears throat> yeah. This, okay, so originally when this car, this GT, or this Dodge Dart casting was released, pretty much always had those wheels on it right here. And then they switched it up a little bit and started giving it other wheels. These wheels look great on this car. The BF Goodrich radials. I love the color, actually. This dark bronze. Just a really nice color. It's also got this little added, uh, like, kind of stripe thing on the bottom there. Which, I'm not a muscle car, like, aficionado. Or I guess I don't even know if this is considered a muscle car. But, uh, so I don't know about all the options and stuff that was available. There's just too much for me to go back and try to learn right now. But I just love these little replicas. That's a great looking car. So that's fantastic. So what's the Ultra Red going to look like? You should know based on the previous cars. It's going to have the traits of the version B car, which this one, uh, looking at the plates, plates the same. Um, but what is it going to have? It's going to have the wheels, of course, from uh, this car. And it's going to have that little bomb stripe thing. And, uh, yeah, and it's, of course, it's going to be Ultra Red in color. It's going to have an Ultra Red interior and a white base. So let's go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, this is on the version A card. Okay, doesn't make a difference. Still gonna have the version B trait. Let's go ahead and pop it open. By the way, in case you're new to the channel, sometimes I wear gloves when I do some auto rub videos and some other videos, because I don't want to get my fingerprints on the cars. These are gonna go straight into a display. These are like a microfiber cloth, like cotton glove. Pretty nice. They're made for handling jewelry. And this is my jewelry, so I use it to handle my cars. So there you have it. It's gonna there's the rims. Same as the version B car. White base. Ultra red interior, if you can see that. So it's not gonna have the blue interior, it's not gonna have the brown interior from this one. It's got the ultra red interior. Yeah, a good looking car. Yeah, that's sweet. All right. <clears throat> and then lastly, if the truck wasn't my favorite, the Chevy truck, I think this next release would be. Now, this is a casting that's been used quite a bit, um, but every release of it is actually really, really good. So if there's like a casting and you're a fan of Mustangs, like this is a casting that you should collect. This is the 1967 Ford Mustang. GTA, this one, in lime gold poly, lime gold poly, and that is a cool, 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 cool color. Limited to 5,500 pieces, of course, as the majority of this series is. There it is. That is sweet. Love the wheels on it. The wheels are fantastic. Just a great looking casting, beautiful looking car, and of course you get the uh, opening hood feature. This one is kind of struggling to open. I don't think I'm going to force that one. We'll try it on the next one. I don't know what that is. Uh, just a little piece of plastic shaving is actually stuck right there. I'm going to get that out. It's stuck in the crack between the... Uh, the windshield in the in the frame there not sure what that caused that but i will go ahead and take care of that off camera and this one's got a little some issues now auto world quality quality control is pretty darn good for the most part but 
is you have cars. These come as a, I should say, these come at almost a five dollar per car price point if you are lucky enough to find them at your local Walmart. If you do have to order them online, they're not that much more expensive. You're looking at more like seven bucks a car, which is totally worth it uh, for these cars for sure. But this one, not much of a roller in the front. Again, I've pulled a lot of these cars and a lot of cars out of the package, so I know how to fix some certain things when they come out a little wonky. And uh, that one will get played with and likely fixed. <coughs> I do have a backup version of it if it ends up being too bad. All right, but there is that one. I don't want to take away from the color of the car. The color of the car is just beautiful. Just one of the best colors this car has ever been put out in. The rims are awesome. Uh, the car in general just is really, really cool. And uh, that is a really nice version of this casting. And like I said, there's a lot of good versions of this casting. Uh, version B is in Arcadian Blue. Right there. Oops. Open it up. And we'll see if this one's a roller. You know, this one's not really a roller either. And I think, honestly, it's because of the tire choice. It does roll a bit, but it seems like the tires are a little bit too fat, or thick, for this particular casting, the way it's designed, and they rub on the fender wells. Which is not a huge deal. I mean, it's... People aren't playing with these cars anyway. They're not made for play value. But, of course, I like my cars to roll. And there's the opening hood. This one opens much easier. Snap shut nice and tight. This Arcadian Blue, while not as cool as that lime gold poly, is a pretty nice color, too. So, let's see. Are the plates different on this one? No. All right. So, the Ultra Red. As far as I can tell, the only real difference we're going to see, because we're going to see an ultra-red interior, we're going to see a white base. Ah, wheels are pretty much the same. Um, tires are the same, it appears, right? They're both Firestone. Oh, they're not the same. The tires are not the same. These are Firestone. Those are Goodyear. So we're going to see... We should... Yeah, right? Am I crazy? No, I'm not. All right, so we should see Firestone tires on the ultra red and we should see this blue line on the ultra red i think is the most obvious feature so let's go ahead and check out the ultra red this was the last ultra red i needed to complete the series here it is there they are firestone tires and yep that one down there is blue let's go ahead and open up the car so again limited Two, three hundred thirty pieces. There is your ultra red. This one's the best roller out of all of them. That's cool. Firestone tires. Uh, looks like the black wash on the uh, the wheel there didn't turn out quite as good on that side. Not a big deal. <clears throat> Again, ultra red interior, white base. And it looks pretty awesome. So you can really see that silver trim on the side and the, with the red. That looks really good. Loving it. So that is another complete Auto World series in the books. Glad to have this one. This is a basic one. It is kind of um, different not as ordinary because uh, that the Ultra Reds follow the version B cars, which is um, not usually the case. Usually the case, or more often than this, they follow the version A uh, car. But in this series, it's uh, the version B, which is interesting. Uh, I Definitely my favorite, I mean, of course, for the Ultra Reds is going to be this one. And my favorite of the regular releases, of course, is this black truck. And so far, I think for this casting, this is the coolest version of it that has come out. Um, <clears throat> in second place uh, for the releases is probably going to be this Mustang, in spite of some of the rolling issues that we have um, 
these both look really good. Uh, the ultra red looks good as well. And then if I had to pick a third, then I'd probably go with the Ford truck just because it's a brand new casting debut. Um, I do dig it. I just don't think it's as striking as the other two. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much. If you want to see more of these complete Auto World uh, videos, check out the playlist for Auto World on my channel. Lots of cool stuff to look at there. And again, thank you guys very much. If you have any questions about any of these cars, please don't hesitate to ask. You can either ask them here in the comments or you can email me at championdjk at gmail.com. I would be happy to, to school you in any of the Auto World knowledge that I have. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day.